because I'm going to bring up your host. She is the host of this podcast. She brought us all here today. She's our leader. Start clapping your hands together right motherfucking now. Give her all the love. Tracy Carnazzo. Guys, keep it going for Christina. Ah. I'm so excited to have you all here today. Thank you so much. Um, who came from the furthest? You guys, D- Daniel, thank you so much for coming. Daniel has been obsessively buying us cameos from the cast <laughs> all the way from Portland, Oregon. Uh, thank you so much. Darcy went on for five minutes. He's like, I, I bought a 30 second cameo. <laughs> and she was like, oh my God. <laughs> I just, hold on, let me just, (sighs) it was a lot of posing. It was nice, though. It was really nice. Uh, Thank you guys so much for coming. Did anyone come from further than Portland, Oregon? Okay, well, everyone else is not the best. (laughs) Did anyone else come from far away? Clap if you came from far away. Pennsylvania, where'd you come from? Ohio, that's terrible that you have to live there. Oh, my God, I am so sorry that that happened to you. Uh, Don't you feel better that you're now in a real place? (laughs) Thank you guys so much for coming. Ohio right there. (laughs) Delaware. (laughs) You know, you want a big applause for the Delaware, but it's, like, actually not that far. (laughs) (laughs) Kaylin does live in Delaware. Noelle and I travel many times. Guys, in case you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Teen Mom. We also do a Teen Mom Trash Talk podcast. Uh, for some reason, for some reason, unbeknownst to me, uh, Kale from Teen Mom has befriended Noelle and I (laughs) after we have called all of her children disgusting (laughs) over and over again. And she's like, I know you're just kidding. And we're like, oh, right. (laughs) We're just kidding. That's what's happening. Oh, my God. We have so many important people in the house tonight. So we have Daniel from Portland. We have my childhood friends. Lena and Lauren are here tonight. (laughs) Joanne is a scientist. She's here. Uh, That's amazing. You you were busy doing scientist work, though, right? No? You said you were going to be late, but you're here on time. That's disgusting, Joanna. (laughs) That's absolutely awful. My mom is here. She's here with my kindergarten teacher. Uh, I had to have Christina open this show because I was like, I'm not allowed to curse or talk about anything disgusting. She's going to take care of that for all of us. And that's what happened. Guys, uh, this is 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk Podcast. This is our first live podcast, and we are so excited to have you all here with us. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and I really appreciate that. Uh, we're going to bring out the, my co-host, uh, caterer extraordinaire, <laughs> owner of Full Belly Catering, very, very famous storyteller. Guys, keep it going. Start clapping. <laughs> Start clapping for my co-host, my best friend, Noel Winters. <laughs> Oh, my God, Noelle. This is amazing. Noelle, go ahead. You can take a seat and take your mic. Uh, If you've noticed, Noelle has a full uh, Pepsi right in front of her to just be the trash bag that she is. Right here in public, right in front of everyone. Guys, we have a very special guest today. Who's excited? We are so happy to have this guest here with us. Guys, you've seen him. You've heard him on the Jim and Sam show on Sirius XM. Guys, start clapping for Sam Roberts. So excited to have you. We're going to start this podcast. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, We have approximately 12 hours left. Uh, (laughs) Did everyone here watch the tell-all? Okay. Who did not watch the (laughs) tell-all? Okay, all right, so we're good. We have some liars, but we're good. 
Uh, I'm, I'm just sat down. We have fan extraordinaire Roger and his lovely girlfriend, Allison. Hi. Roger is my link to everything in my life. Roger is a great <laughs> comedy fan. Roger is a big fan of yours. He's a big fan of ours. He is the guy who tells me what's going on in the world. He calls me. He's like, Tracy, you got to do this show. They're into it. They're really into 90 Day Fiance. Tracy, I heard them talking about Teen Mom on this other show. He <laughs> is the eyes and ears of the comedy world. Noel, I'm getting hot. I'm so hot. My shoulders are like on fire. On fire. I wish I had known. Sorry, Sam, you weren't in that group text. Uh, I feel like a flame coming out of them. <laughs> I hope they're not too cold. We get it, we get it. You love us. Okay. Uh, we are here to talk about... Well, this is, this is uh, teen, not teen Mom. Is this Teen Mom trash talk? Yes. This is 90 Day Fiance Trash Talk. This is episode 40. We are here live at the stand. We are here to talk about Before the 90 Days, season three, episodes 13 and 14. 13 is the, um, the finale. series finale, and 14 is the 12-hour episode <laughs> where Angela really showed how many cigarettes she could actually smoke in real time. That was so exciting. We're going to start with my favorite, your favorite, your favorite. We're going to start with Darcy and Tom. Oh, yes. Thank God. Yes. Darcy couldn't be here today, but she does love New York City. <laughs> <laughs> she told me she loves New York City. <laughs> she really likes New York City. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> Darcy has just come back. Uh, she's back in the U.S., and she honestly looks better now. Way better. I don't know what happened. Did she shower? Did, how do you like her hair extension, Sam? Well, I heard you guys. I didn't realize that all hair extensions were bad hair extensions. It's yeah. a thing. Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah. Uh, does anyone here have hair extensions you want to share with us? The story? I bet them? someone does. Yeah, they're so. just lying. Yep. They're like, but you know what? That's fine because we can't like clearly see anyone with hair extensions, which is a good sign. <laughs> that's a good sign. I can't sign. see anybody. So. You like it like that, right? No, I don't like it. Oh, you like to see I want to <laughs> see the people. Yeah, Noah has don't a, trust them. You know, she does <laughs> That's not That's the thing. Trust I don't know what's happening. I see, like, two people. Like, I see Kat. Right. Okay. So is that comforting? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, Noah, you could take your phone out and, like, put the light on or something if you want. No, I don't want to blind them. You sure? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm okay. Be... I'm okay. I'm okay. I don't need my pillow. I'm okay. Okay. I want you to be happy. <laughs> uh, at our first Teen Mom Trash Talk Live, Noah laid across the stage, like, the classy broad that she is. I had a hard time. That was rough. <laughs> <laughs> she did. <laughs> Uh, so she, um, <laughs> she's back in the U.S. She, she looks better her now. King. She texts <laughs> <laughs> Tom is her king. Uh, <laughs> she texts him. Stacy picks her up from the airport. Doesn't really pick her up though. Meets her there because she was on her flight. Do you think that Stacy's better looking than Darcy? No, I think she's filled in more. I have to tell you, I do. Yeah, I do too. Sometimes. But I also think that I'm spoiled with Darcy. Like we see this slightly different version of Darcy. Right. <laughs> and all of a sudden those little differences right. become like, oh, that's better. That's the way it should look. Which is, <laughs> is it the way it should look? I don't know about should look. The weird thing is we've seen them get their fillers and they get them side by side. Mm -hmm. So do you think that Stacy like throws Snuck a little extra one? and she's like, give me the good stuff. <laughs> I want wrestling and voluma <laughs> and a little bit of allure uh stacy her flight um was not nonstop, and darcy's like oh your flight wasn't nonstop." it's so competitive <laughs> <laughs> oh no that sounds fine too i mean <laughs> that's good i mean that's just a different flight that you know because my uh my king he got me a <laughs> flight and your um person Mul multiple stops that's is that more or less expensive? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it's fine. cheaper then. Okay, yeah. That's totally fine. Um, so Darcy is so jealous that Stacy's engaged, and she just wants her to know uh, by telling her like that she's not jealous. <laughs> over and over and over. Just again. over and yeah. over again. She tells Stacy that there was a surprise at the end. And Stacy's like, is it a ring? 
<laughs> Let me see the ring. She gets mad that she goes, there was a surprise, a ring. No, not a ring. Why would it be a ring when it's a key to his apartment that I don't even live near? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's actually better than a ring because now I could go there because he lives in a jewelry box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you see the ring that the the key that they you were a hundred percent right when you key. said it was a key to your diary. To my diary, that's it what it was. <laughs> it was a key to my diary. It's di- not I never... a real key. Do you, do you what do you do? You live in a house here? I live in a house, and there's like buttons on the door. Oh, oh, okay, oh well. excuse me. I'm okay. sorry, Sam. We're we're in a different class. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can't even believe you're here with us right now. I know. <laughs> I know. You're welcome. How would <laughs> we always appreciate? It. How would you like? So you couldn't even give a woman a key. No, no, no. I just slip her like a piece of paper with the code. You're like, on here's it. the passcode. Check, sh- the check code. your text message. <laughs> Although I feel like it'd be terrifying because I'd just be sitting there watching TV one night and you just hear from the outside. Boop, 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 boop. What's your code? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like they know your address. We don't know your address. Do you live in New York City? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, mo- I'm actually moving to England. So I'll give you the code at that point. I mean, I could uh, take a nonstop flight there because <laughs> <laughs> I have money like that. Uh, just saying. She said that she could have, uh, she said it was a key to his house. It was, um, these are quotes, mm-hmm. romantic, mm-hmm. beautiful. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> Everything's beautiful. And amazing. <laughs> <laughs> she said she could have gotten the ring, but she would not demand it from him like Stacy did. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't like always ask for a ring. I wouldn't like always ask to get engaged. Why would I do that? That's like so stupid. Meanwhile, that's all she does. Yeah, she literally was humming wedding music <laughs> as they were walking down an aisle. They were in the grocery store. They were <laughs> 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 actually, guys. Now that we're all here on this stage, I kind of feel like this could be a wedding. You can marry people here. If you wanted I to could right marry now. People here. I'm yeah. an ordained minister. You are? Yes. She married me and my husband. I married them twice. Yeah. Yeah. Twice. Twice. Yeah. yeah. Once was the secret one that no one really knows about. Sorry. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then one was for the show. I feel like if you're marrying the same people twice, it does start to diminish your credibility as an ordained minister. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one I didn't even know I did it right, to be honest with you. <laughs> the first time I did it, I was like, I can't say anything to Noel, but I don't think I did this right. <laughs> You want to hear, hear something funny? Uh, Tell me. Jim Norton got himself ordained uh, because somebody wanted to get married at a live chip podcast. Right. And after he married them, I found out like two months later because he didn't want to make a big deal out of it, but he got ordained in the wrong state and the wedding wasn't real. Uh, <laughs> and the people were not married. Can I tell you something? That was my biggest fear. These people are living a lie. A lie. Total lie. It didn't now, happen. Now, are they still together? Because at that point, there is like some kind of relief of an out. Right. I built a trap door for you here. Like, right. It's like, do you, are you sure you want to marry her? Because I would have been like, oh, thank God that wasn't real. Actually, things are not working out so well. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Uh, so she didn't want to demand it like Stacy. Uh, Darcy is wearing a cream colored outfit with the craziest panty lines I've ever seen I've in my life. I've never seen <laughs> underwear like that. Also, uh, I don't know. Like, she was FaceTiming with him and she put on perfume to FaceTime. <laughs> 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 I, uh, so I don't know if you guys know. <laughs> I wanted to have Darcy here. I reached out to her. We had a few conversations. Um, she was like, I do love New York City. <laughs> uh, she wasn't able to make it. She's with family this weekend. She's probably with Jossie. Uh, <laughs> but there was a part of me that was like, I don't need her to come here because she's going to have on so much perfume, I'm going to get a headache. No, you're right. No. You're yeah, right. And you like, can't tell her no perfume. You can't tell no. her no perfume. No perfume is one bottle of perfume. <laughs> You guys saw what she did in that airport and bathroom, that, right? <laughs> that angel that she sprayed. Which that's called freshening up. I don't know if you ladies know that much was, about it was that, but that's so called bad. freshening up. And Darcy, she goes like most football players, they say, you know, look good, feel good, feel good, play good. Darcy is smell good, feel good, feel good, play good. <laughs> smell good, smell good, smell good. FaceTime good. I don't even, when I do like any kind of FaceTime, like sometimes I do um, like a Skype uh, interview or a Skype audition, right? I don't even put pants on. Why would you? (laughs) I don't. I put on like a top. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, I hope they don't ask me to stand up in this one. (laughs) (laughs) She puts on perfume. Right. Okay. All right. She's dedicated. She's going all out. Uh, So he's holding his phone. 
nice and high. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's like, Tom, we know. <laughs> we know, Tom. We know what's happening there. Uh, <laughs> what? It's natural. This is how people <laughs> hold phones. I just, I just miss his voice. He's like, yeah, I'm busy. He hates her. He really hates yeah. her. He's like, also, um, the long distance thing, it's not fitting. <laughs> and you don't respect me when I'm in a business meeting. But he doesn't have a job. <laughs> like, right. legit. Right. Like, that's like when you call me and I'm like, no, well, I'm in a business meeting. Right. And you're like, okay, right. Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't really have a job. So <laughs> that's kind of weird. Um, Maybe it's a home business. And since he lives with his mom, it's just he's talking to his mom. He's talking right. to his mom. <laughs> right. He's like, we're deciding what kind of macaroni and cheese we're going to stock because honestly, the craft is good, but the Annie's <laughs> is better for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's two dollars more, but it is it is better for you. It's so, organic. So needless to say, Darcy, I can't talk right now. Right. Mm-hmm. I can't talk like that. But he does want to be friends. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who and doesn't have long distance <laughs> friends? <laughs> hey, Sam. <laughs> Watch it. Look at all these people here. <laughs> 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 these are all my friends <laughs> this is it uh, she's like I'm confused because I thought we were going to get married <laughs> did you? okay and then she does something that you can't end uh, an episode without mentioning Jesse but she doesn't cry this is, is like the weird. one time she doesn't cry it's well, really weird yeah. I know yeah. she, don't worry guys <laughs> the tell-all is coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's move on to Benjamin and Akini. He's leaving, Great. and she's mad because he hasn't told anyone that they got fake married <laughs> on a dirt road in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So he's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to text everyone. I'm going to send a group text message. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So she's like, what did everyone think? And he's like, they were 50-50 on this. <laughs> he's like, I went to Costco. I got everyone a case of paper towels. Yada, 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 we're married. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he said he does not regret it, though. So that's nice. And she is fake crying because she doesn't know when she will see him again. And he's crying. He says, till next time. Do you think she was fake crying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she was fake crying. She hates think, him. Do you think when he started kind of crying, it was real crying? Oh, he, he was, he was, he was real crying. crying. Yeah. yeah. Poor yeah. thing. He was crying about... That was like the tears of Jesus. That's <laughs> <what> <laughs> was, oh, my God. I'm sorry if anyone's religious. Uh, <laughs> speaking of uh, a religious couple, let's talk about Rebecca and Ziad. <laughs> <laughs> they have their final hours together, and he said that he does consider uh, her divorced. So that's good. I mean, good. she is divorced. Well, do you remember what he said? Um, he said, uh, how long take you finish this report. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that was in the episode. Well, how's he supposed to marry a woman? He doesn't know how long uh, the report. what time the report's going to yeah, be Yeah, no, I know. I get it. Uh, I don't want to brag, but I am uh, finishing my degree. Uh, I'm going to online college. Congrats. Thank you so much, Sam. University Thank you. of Phoenix. Thank you. Uh, I'm actually... Relax, I'm going to the Southern New Hampshire University. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen the commercials. <laughs> they got me. They got me. Uh... And I felt like he was talking to me. It was almost like an aside from the TV. He was like, what time you finish this report? And I'm like, Zed, I'm working as fast as I can. It's not due until Sunday. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> You're supposed to be my escape. <laughs> Rebecca's nose is the most red I've ever I've seen. I've never it. seen anything <laughs> like this. She it's is bad. literally leading the sleigh tonight. I think it's windburn. I think it's no, because she started getting that red nose when she was crying on the towel, too. Because everyone had to cry in this hall. I know. Uh, this is a quote from Zayed. He said, I want you eat. <laughs> That's right. He, he presents her with a box of chocolates with a, with a box with a ring in it. He says, I want you eat. <laughs> <laughs> You're just coming on to her. Yeah. yeah. I, wa- I want you eat. She's, uh, he shows, and then he's like, well, I mean, also there's a ring, so let me just show you the ring. He shows her the ring that she bought her, and... <laughs> <laughs> She said that she hopes it didn't put him out. <laughs> and he goes, don't worry about that. <laughs> don't worry. Yeah, you bought that. She's like, what'd you say, honey? He's like, well, I know English. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Then he he changes up the story and he goes, my sister paid. Yeah, macarona. <laughs> <laughs> She make the macaron. No, the macaron. Oh my god, he's just so <laughs> smooth. He is. He's so smooth. weird. I get it. Like he I doesn't even know the language, and he has an explanation for everything. Yeah. <laughs> she make the macaron. <laughs> so uh, now she leaves, right? And she said that um, she she could just stay. She's like, I think I'm just gonna stay here. And he's like, Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> So she drives herself to the airport in the car that she rented. But he is dressed for sledding, right? Yeah. yeah With yeah, that yeah. that scarf on him. <laughs> it was like silly. He likes a good accessory. He does like a good accessory. She has on straight up brown lipstick. <laughs> she always does. Yeah, I don't know. So she was saying well, it's... What are you talking about? It's 1999. That's what people do. That's true. I mean, in wherever they are. I don't even know what country they are in anymore. Like, I honestly, thought they were in Tanzania. I thought it was Tunisia. Um, so oh. the, the funny thing is... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Guys, Sam does recaps on 90 Day Fiancé as well. He does, like, a, a YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. And I was listening to it, and you kept saying Tanzania. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> is that the same place? Because I haven't taken geography yet. Like, I am not up to that. <laughs> no, I just found out just now it's not Tanzania. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you guys were right on that one. <laughs> that sounds a lot more familiar now when you but, say it. Does anyone know where Tanzania is? Is that by Tunisia? Because I feel like they no. No, we're getting not at no. all. Not even where cl- not is close. Tanzania? No one close. No. Okay. Australia? Is really? It? No, that's Tasmania. That's Tasmania, Lauren. <laughs> He's not Tasmanian. Lauren is a product of the Catholic school system. <laughs> <laughs> we're not allowed to talk about countries like that. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> she drives herself to the airport in the car that she rented for her pay- trip that she paid for. And <laughs> she said that while she's gone, she's scared that he'll change his mind. Um, He's got a lot of options. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, this is, a, this is a, a quote. She says, uh, he says, in the room, in the home. You see my face. <laughs> <laughs> on a plane. <laughs> on, on a, a train, train. <laughs> green eggs and ham <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna move on to Angela and Michael I don't want to what <laughs> I can't deal with them Angela is an American treasure <laughs> <laughs> Angela might be America's greatest export can we give her to the to Nigeria? <laughs> how do we gift her? Like almost like how the Statue of Liberty was a gift. <laughs> Can we give Kenya Angela? Did you see the way? Did you see that episode where Michael was wearing those red, white, and blue oh, boxer briefs? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, she is bringing American culture. This is true across <laughs> the world. Did you see how she proposed to him? She was like, "America, baby." <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Michael. You're coming to America. And he was like, oh, I love Angela. Ah. (laughs) Walking around Nigeria with a MAGA hat on. That's probably. (laughs) You know, it's funny because you would expect the people in Nigeria to be wearing these things because usually it's like the things that we throw away or like we make too many (laughs) of. That's true. It's like, you know, the Super Bowl shirts that are wrong and he throws on a little MAGA hat. (laughs) Unironically. He uh, he misses. I'm sorry, mom. He misses her boobs her already. Boobs. <laughs> yes. Oh yes, he does. <laughs> She's like, he's like, I am going to miss you so much. And she goes, What are you gonna miss, Michael? My boobs. <laughs> and Michael is just sitting there going, uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> like yes. Just smiling. Respect your elders. Oh dear. Uh, he's wearing an American flag shirt. Of course he is. And she says goodbye to the bed, in the motel. Right. Oh, yeah. She said it, it was good to her. <laughs> <laughs> so they they have a little bit of a dream. We all have a dream. Well, you have a dream, right? I do. Sam, you have a dream. This is my dream. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad we could make dreams come true <laughs> here at the Stan Comedy Club and Restaurant. <laughs> Angela's dream is to bring Michael to America, right. marry him, and tote by four wheelers. <laughs> <laughs> Buy some four wheelers, get some land, <laughs> and have a kid. Uh, I'm glad you pronounced it Willers too. Four wheelers. Four wheelers. Four wheelers. 
They're going to drive around the lane, Sam. <laughs> she tells him to stop following women on social media. These are her. her. She's like, Michael. <laughs> stop following women on Instagram. <laughs> if you want to see boobs, I'll show you my boobs. Oh, he gross. said that he feels like half of his body is leaving. <laughs> Doesn't he mean three times his body? <laughs> <laughs> like his body and then yeah. another body and then another body. Maybe he didn't learn mass in school. I don't think that yeah. uh, he learned a lot. Uh, actually, uh, they don't go to much school. They're very, uh, although I did get uh, a nasty tweet from someone from being on your show. And they said, uh, no. That, no, <laughs> I know, I know. right? I got <laughs> nasty tweets for being on my show. <laughs> uh-huh. And uh, someone said that Nigerians are the most educated people in the world. And like, Maybe, just not Michael. Like, why are we... You know, because there's, like, some Americans that are very educated, but then you're here looking at us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not... (laughs) Maybe Michael represents Nigeria the way Angela represents America. (laughs) Did we ever stop and think for a sec? (laughs) Like, before we generalize, let's generalize the whole deal. (laughs) God, I hope not. This is what's wrong with what's going on. Uh, Speaking of, uh, again, just love and affection and a beautiful romantic relationship, let's talk about Avery and Omar. (laughs) She's uh, she's doing a little praying on her rug. Mm -hmm. I think she got it from Urban Outfitters. She did. It was really cute. So she's going to FaceTime with Omar. And when, see, the thing I like about Avery is, like, when they say FaceTime, she means just the face. Like, she's the only one. (laughs) Like, it's just... But he looks really tan. He looks like he might have gone on a vacation. Yeah. He did look a little (laughs) oddly uh, bronze. (laughs) So she's like, listen, uh, you, I don't know if you know, live in Syria? (sighs) Yada, yada, yada. Um, You can't get a visa. I love that it took an entire season (laughs) of television to be like, there is a travel ban (laughs) on Syria. (laughs) We know that. (laughs) Like 13 episodes. <laughs> and it's like, remember that travel ban from episode one? You remember that war that's been going on for like 10 years? Yeah, that's It's the still thing. going yeah. on. It's still, it's still doing it. It's not a plot point. It's a government thing. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were just like trying to be silly. Uh, <laughs> and he says, why I can't be in America? <laughs> She's like, oh, I heard. I don't know. Like, I didn't know, but uh, I went to a lawyer. I paid him a lot of money. I paid him uh, $150 an hour. And he told me, uh, there's some war? <laughs> I don't know, something terrible, I don't know. So the soonest he can come is three years. There's a 5% <laughs> chance that he could come here in three years. It's good uh, odds. Yeah, very good odds. She can't move there. She started the favor work, so that's good. And uh, she said, would you still want to be with me and be married to me, like, basically, if you never saw me again? <laughs> And he's like, oh, I don't... No, thank you. <laughs> I don't... I just wanted to go to America. Yeah. I thought I was going to be a periodontist. <laughs> so I'm going to stay here? Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You want me to be married to you not in America? Right, like, yeah, I stay here, and then, like, I have to love you There's from afar? Literally no benefit for me in that. Okay, so th- here's a crazy idea, and I talk about this all the time on the podcast. Google? Go- dot com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <just> yeah. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, so she throws the phone down, and she just covers it. And he's like, Avery, I could still see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I give up about America. Uh, let's go to Dubai. Right. And she's like, well, I don't know if that's... He's like, whatever, we'll figure it out. Uh, And he's like, oh, my God, i got to get someone else to marry now. (laughs) This is really not what I planned. Noelle? Yes. Your favorite. We're moving on. Caesar and Maria. Oh, God. Noelle is this hopeless romantic that has believed in them from day one. I always believed in Maria. Not that she loved him, but that she was real. I so do not know? think so. Sometimes I you get didn't. You were like, she looks like my neighbor or yeah. somebody. <laughs> yeah. I can see you getting confused. It's sometimes it's like watching The Notebook, watching Caesar <laughs> and, <laughs> and love story <laughs> of our time just play out. 
He got back three weeks ago, and guess what, guys? They are back together, and they're going to Cuba! Do you not think that Maria's, like, guys... Throwing darts at, like, a map? (laughs) Where can I get him to go next? She she tells her her 80s friends, right? She's like, watch this. (laughs) (laughs) Watch this. I'm going to get this guy to go to Cuba by himself. (laughs) Like they're like, no, no, you already got him to go to Mexico by himself. There's no way he's gonna turn around and go right to Cuba by himself. See, no, he's gonna go. Oh, he's going. <laughs> he said that their relationship is brand new, but guess what? He's got the same old pictures of her. Uh, so he rides his bike to work with his Oakleys on and his helmet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You'd think he was in better shape, right, Roger? Were you the one that said that? Yeah, you would think like all the cardio that this guy does. You would think. He's, he's literally episode by episode gotten into progressively worse yeah. shape. Yes. Yeah. And he doesn't eat well. You Terribly. know? I mean, he's like starving. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah, but the, the ramen is a lot of carbs. The ramen, the dry scrambled eggs, those were terrible. You just don't like scrambled eggs, Noel. Don't bring your beliefs into this podcast. I fucking hate eggs. <laughs> Guys, we meet Maria. We meet her. Yeah. She she's is- real. 28. I think she's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Her brows. Brows I are good. Them. Her hair is flowing. Yeah, Stone she's gorgeous. Cold fox. She's pretty pretty cute. She uh, looks like every girl in my neighborhood. Yeah, you live in a Russian neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> every <laughs> girl in my Chiefs neighborhood. This yeah. Is <laughs> every girl is Russian and they all have like 90-year-old boyfriends, you know? Like What a dream. Perfect. I know. And it's like That's never going to happen for no, me. No, it's showing they're like <laughs> She's 28 years old, and they met on Anastasia date. Why are we not on Anastasia date? I don't even understand. Like, why can't we make profiles and be on Anastasia date? No one said we couldn't. Okay, let's do that. Write that down. Matt would allow that. Okay, so Caesar is sending Maria videos, and this might be my favorite part of the entire, I don't know, series of 90 Day Fiance. Wow. Did anyone see the length of Caesar's tie? Oh, yeah. There's something here. (laughs) It was like boob. It was like right over here. It looked like Caesar (laughs) went to a funeral of a child. He had a baby tie. (laughs) Yes. And just took the tie right off the kid in the coffin (laughs) and snapped it right back on. Roger felt very strongly about that tie. He's like, do you see this clown (laughs) what this guy was wearing? (laughs) That's when he's going like, you think this is sexy? Uh, (laughs) Yes. With his 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 men in black. With his glasses on and his Uh. halter top tie. (laughs) <laughs> it was it was nipple, nipple length. length. Yeah. Relax, Delaware. Uh, <laughs> she's a, too. It was a wide tie. It was very. It was just. It came down so short. It was so cute. Um, she was explaining what she likes in men, and to be honest with you, she was describing Jesse. So that was <laughs> good, right. Yeah. That was a real bummer. <laughs> she was like, "I like tall. I like arrogant. I like mean." Yes. Uh, <laughs> she said that she isn't into Caesar physically. Gee. What? <laughs> so she goes shopping with her friends, and one of them is wearing a garbage bag. <laughs> she said that she just got back from Dubai, and uh, her dream is to come to America. Beverly Hills. What? Yeah. No way. Yeah. She's trying to g- see him. I didn't even realize that was her dream. It's such a coincidence that the love of her life is also from America. And she's not attracted to him. Unfortunately (laughs) not. No, no. How unfortunate when that happens. She loves his personality and uh, uh, ease of uh, uh, money going away from his hands. (laughs) (laughs) To be honest with you, Caesar's not a bad catch. He can do nails. He's a bad catch. He's a terrible catch. He's a terrible catch. Although he's great on a bicycle, too. (laughs) Yeah, we could go bike riding. He could do my... Like, how many times have I been like, can I get a nail appointment? It's Friday afternoon. And they're like, (laughs) no appointment. And then I could just be like, Caesar, uh, you're up, baby. (laughs) It's all you. He's like, honey, I leave my work at work. Uh, I got a little upset in the scene. Because her friend with the garbage bag... (laughs) She had the same color lipstick you wear. Yeah, and it's like, that's my color lipstick. Yeah. That's like my thing. I yeah. stole that very specifically from Nessa, who does the uh, 
shout out to Nessa, who does the MTV Teen Mom reunions with yes. the purple, purple lipstick. I took a screenshot of it. I brought it to Sephora, <laughs> and I bought seven different purple lipsticks, and I've been in business and ever since. And she returned them all. I know you guys are shocked that she returned them all. I only returned, returned the ones that I used for six months or more. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Stop exposing me. <laughs> So, yeah, she stole my lipstick. It wasn't very nice. Uh, the picture of her from Dubai that we see. Yes. What's up with her back? Is she um, anorexic? Like, I, I don't even mean, like, this is not her. No, I didn't think she looked anorexic. She looked oh, like I a burn victim. Like, there was something. I'm sorry. There was something up with her back. She's like, whatever you said, Tracy, I'm going to say something worse. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to make it better. No, no, no. It was bad. It was, it was bad. bad. It was very poorly photoshopped. Yeah. Yes. She looked much thinner than she is. Not that she's fat, but it just, it looked, um, it looked like I photoshopped it. That's yeah, it I do like. feel like there could be a nightmare behind all the pictures that she's been sending to Caesar and also the dozens of other men that she's talking to. Those are obviously Sam. very carefully. Yes, carefully Sam. crafted. Chosen. She's talking to Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't what know what I was saying. Guy? Yeah, I don't know. Dumb. She says it. Like she says it. Did you even watch the episode? Like she no. says <laughs> that she's only with Caesar again. Because she said another. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Uh, like before. Uh, no, okay. she said it was a joke that she said that. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it was just a joke. One of her friends is just normal. The other one's in the garbage bag, and. Um, <laughs> She s- she did say she was like LOL. I might have met someone in Dubai. LOL, but it was like the L- you know what I mean. Right. She was and joking. She went like this. I'll tell you later. Right now, there's some cameras. Yeah, so right, right now. Right. <laughs> and also, can you cut that part out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, her friend said that Caesar did not send her a lot of money. He claims he sent forty grand. Uh, everyone everyone is actually saying no, that's not true. And they were like, Hey, Maria. <laughs> how much money do you think Caesar sent you? And she goes, I don't know. I'm not an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> I also, I loved her explanation as to why he couldn't have sent 40 grand. He does nails. He does, does he nails. Have 40 grand. Right. He he's a nail tech. 40 grand from what? <laughs> <laughs> She's not an accountant, but yeah. she does know that a nail tech. Uh, she said that no one else was sending her money, obviously, and that they're still <laughs> friends. Uh, they ask if you're plan. Are you guys sh- the the producers like? Are you planning on seeing him? And Do you remember she her just answer? giggles. She goes. Oh, she goes. It's secret. I will not tell you. <laughs> it is secret. <laughs> I will not tell you. My wife. She's not Borat. <laughs> <laughs> she is in my head. She's Borat. She is Borat to you. <laughs> <laughs> my wife. <laughs> you guys are an easy crowd. This is like. <laughs> I wish I could do stand up to you, all of you, every single night. <laughs> I would have such a false sense of security. <laughs> it's kind of like when I used to perform a lot at Long Island. Uh, so that's it for the season finale. Thank Not, God. We're just tying up loose ends. It wasn't anything groundbreaking. They uh, also knew. They were like, look, I mean, that's the, that's the formula of the show. It's like the season finale. Right, it's right. not. They're just trying to end this thing so they can get to the real. It leaves mm-hmm. you wanting more. Yeah. And here we are, season three, episode 14. <laughs> the 12 hour tell all. <laughs> How many? I, I want to know here. Um, let, let's clap like by round of applause. Let's let's figure this out. Who watched this in one shot? Clap if you watched this in one shot. What? Liars. We have some psychos. I did. Uh, <laughs> where where are you ladies from? Oh, I could see you. <laughs> I was trying to pretend that you were real people. <laughs> <laughs> show business, ladies. Yeah, show business. Come on. <laughs> I'm a stand-up comedian. Uh, <laughs> you watch you watched. Me the too. Whole, the whole thing. Okay. Um, well, you guys don't have a lot going on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who watched it in two days? Clapped if you watched it in two I days. Did. Yeah. I did. Okay. All right. That's more realistic. Clap if you watched it in three days. Yeah. Okay. Again. Four days? No, because we haven't had. Yeah, we've had four days. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Yeah, we've had five so days. Had, we've had five yeah. days. Five days. Okay. So, uh, so the. General consensus is about two, three days. Yeah. These freaks, uh, one day. <laughs> what did you do? Did you have to get, like, child care for your children? Like, what did... <laughs> do you just put them in cages? Like, honestly. I kept threatening to go to sleep, but... <laughs> the children? <laughs> Who? 
Who are you threatening? Do you have any kids? That's you took right. caffeine pills? Just a bunch of... Oh, so bunch watch of, 90 Day Fiance? Let's be honest. It's a, bunch, a, lot of, a lot of people bought a lot of babysitters and cocaine. Yeah. And they stayed up. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what she meant when she said military-grade <laughs> caffeine pills. The strongest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you, you snorted your Adderall. Cool. Uh, <laughs> How about the arrogance of putting on a show that is that long and leaving literally... Nothing on the cutting room floor. It's like, what if we film in the elevator and backstage and in the hallway and, then when and we outside say, and, then and when air we say it cut, all? When we say cut, don't even cut. Don't cut. Keep don't rolling. Cut. And we're going to air Keep it. Rolling. This is in real time. They were like, if you guys, we have to be here for four hours, you guys have to be yeah. here for four hours. <laughs> That's who I want to talk to. I want to interview one of the editors from 90 Day Fiance. They didn't do anything. They go, what do you they do? They didn't work. No. no, nothing. Those editors must have been on vacation. Just the sweetest <laughs> union jobs of all time. They emailed them the Dropbox file, and they were like, this, this is good. Perfect as <laughs> is. Yeah, let's just leave it like this. Like, Perfect. You literally have the host going like, okay, we're going to send you guys back and send the other people out here yeah. now. Is that okay? Leave it in. Right? It's great. They got the boom mic right in the shot. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, my God. Uh, we're going to start, Noel, with your guy. Caesar. Caesar. Oh. He's in his Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> Tracy has a real problem with denim on denim. I How's don't. You? I don't have I don't a problem either. with uh, denim Is on anyone denim. surprised that Noelle does not have a problem with denim on denim? Fuck that. I like oh, denim I'm on Oh, I'm sorry. Denim. Fran, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Fran. <laughs> We're just dropping N- uh, so, F-bombs now. That's uh, nice. <laughs> I like denim on denim. Uh, not on Caesar. I like it on me. Oh. Okay, well, that makes one person that likes it I on mean, you. I mean, I'm just saying. I don't even think your husband likes that when you wear that. He likes what I tell him to like. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm divorced. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll marry you. Uh, okay. His brother's here. He's so like, you could just marry. It's we the have same thing. Uh, Matt and Dan are here. Uh, Noel's, <laughs> Noel's married to one of them. Uh, the other one. Nobody's married. That's to, right. He's cute. So. Zero <laughs> people are married to him. All he, I'm saying, I'm sorry, Dan, but I am ordained. If you <laughs> see a nice lady here. All right. <laughs> Where are you from? Delaware? Delaware? Okay, so here's the thing, though. Uh, Dan's not traveling. Dan's not traveling. Yeah. Dan, <laughs> Dan doesn't like to go Dan above. won't come to Brooklyn yeah. unless we, like, bribe him. So I don't you know, know about <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> so of those two brothers, which one is Stacy and which one is Darcy? <laughs> Matt is Darcy. <laughs> My husband is Darcy. Okay, good. <laughs> he does have less fillers. <laughs> <laughs> he does cry more, though. He does cry more. That's why. <laughs> so Caesar's got his Canadian tuxedo on, his blackout shades. Nice. Tim looks a little bit chubby walking in. He looks like he's got a little spanx he's on. He's got on a he's got a lady body. Right. Tim has a yeah. real skinny fat problem. Yeah, he does. And he's does. had a real Tim is a, when you look at Tim is the type of guy who wears like size small fashion t shirts and you go just because the t shirt is expensive doesn't yes, mean it's gonna right. fit that body. But you know who likes that stuff? Darcy. Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah she, she does. does. She's yeah, like, she does. this is a Giorgio Armani t-shirt. You know how I know? It says Giorgio Armani. <laughs> <laughs> right across the did front Did Tim of it. dye his hair? Yes. Right? Uh, he yeah, did. It darker. was so dark. Yeah, because yeah. remember, he was going gray. He had a really hard time out in Colombia. Yes. No haircuts. It was he had to, not he had to get home to dye his hair. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, Jennifer, I wish I could be here longer and go on the swing, but... <laughs> 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 so, uh... <laughs> He said that he's stalling on the ring that he's going to buy Jennifer because, you know, it's very expensive. Well, yeah, he, did. he goes, because it's expensive. Expensive. <laughs> I'm like, what? Do you guys remember, like, when we first meet Tim? Tim is uh, making guns for a living. He drives a spider. Yeah. Yeah. Buys tons of hair gel. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's sending her Fashion Nova clothes yeah. right there. <laughs> I'm Five a single six. guy who just raises other people's kids, yeah. <laughs> living that bachelor lifestyle, not having sex with people. <laughs> that's why. That's why he raises everyone else's kids because yeah. he wants people to think that one time maybe it happened. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't ask any follow up questions here. Uh, turns out Benjamin said, and by uh, total shock, uh, his family didn't talk to him for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it wasn't so fifty fifty. Uh, <laughs> Text didn't go through. 
<laughs> Zayed all of a sudden is worried that he won't understand English. I mean, to be fair, we only have evidence of Zayed knowing seven words. Okay, so let's Beautiful. Bad. So beautiful. That's two. Macarona. <laughs> <laughs> I am man Arabic. <laughs> okay, you're right. Yeah. Sam, touche. Uh, <laughs> Tom lost a lot of weight. He looks good. Oh, he looks yeah. Better. Relax, he looks good. He looks thinner. <laughs> he looks... Better because he has the worst hair ever, and it's so much better. It's just a little, here. it's a, like a, a little buff- zhuzh in the buffant. front. <laughs> I think Tom is getting ready to come to the United States. Uh, well, we'll we're gonna update, we're gonna get on into that. that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Darcy said, uh, you know, uh, things, things, uh, things with me and Tom, they uh, they died out <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> <laughs> they did, they, they uh. They, they died out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, man. She has these giant square sunglasses. She on. looked great. Great. She looked great. I loved ridiculous. it. She looked I ridiculous. Loved it. <laughs> Amazing. She was like a caricature of herself. I loved yeah. it. Well, She's just portraying Darcy now. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> she looks almost embalmed. <laughs> yes, she does. <laughs> Do you think that Darcy died in, uh, in Armenia? Maybe. <laughs> Albania. Alba- whatever. It's Tanzania. <laughs> Tanzania. Tunisia. Albania, Armenia. Armenia. Gran-, Gran-, Gran Canaria. Relax, Portland. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy has her crop top on. You know what, though? Yep. Well, she good. looks good. She it was her shoulders it. that got me in that outfit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How are your shoulders feeling? Are they cold? They're nice and cool. Okay, now. good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting why Tiffany does this. <laughs> this is nice. It feels like very, I don't know, like revealing without being revealing. Right. No boobs, just shoulders. Well, I mean, I'm jealous. <laughs> 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 Sam, next. I'm sorry. I do feel bad now. Yeah, I would have like p- shown some nice shoulders. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. They're awesome. hot. Trust me when I tell you, my shoulders are burning up. Well, that's why <laughs> I need a cold shoulder. Yeah. Uh, I need total silence for this. Uh, <laughs> Jesse's on his way. All praise be to Jesse. Uh, she said, uh, "I know, I know, Jesse's coming." Um, <laughs> <laughs> the lips. <laughs> I'm gonna be strong. I'm a di- I'm a different woman now. Jesse's hair was surgically placed <laughs> in a different area. <laughs> of <her head. laughs> <laughs> it was very crispy. I'll tell you that. Uh, sh- Avery's nervous because, uh, sh- you know, because Omar's Muslim. She's like, I'm just afraid that everyone's going to um, judge him. Judge him. Nobody I- cares. No. Avery, who are you again? Yeah. We're not in Ohio anymore, honey. Plus half the people on the sh- <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> are y- do you guys know Avery or do you know where she's from? Really? Oh, you should have gotten her here. This is, you guys should have thrown her in the car and just, <laughs> don't worry about where you're going. It's not S- Syria. Don't worry. <laughs> You'll be safe with us. Um, are there a lot of uh, white 19-year-old Muslim cheerleaders where you live? <laughs> be honest. Be honest. No? She's the only one. Okay. No, that was weird. <laughs> Just the one then. Well, Sean arrives and she's she's like the ice queen, Sean. She sucks. She's the worst. Yeah, she's like the worst. Why are we not doing these reunions? We Why can, is anybody else not doing it? Yeah, yeah. like we can yeah. do, like I you want could do the first Lake. hour. I could do the second hour. Ricky Lake was Ricky good. Lake. She does the unexpected. Yeah, uh, but not this one. Not coming this one. Up. Who watches Unexpected? Anyone watch Unexpected? Ooh. Yeah. This this is like a real basement of trash. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Real yeah, garbage. Yeah, we uh, we recap Unexpected on TLC, which is another unfortunate pregnant show. Uh, we do that on our Patreon. Guys, if you want to join our Patreon, it's at patreon.com slash teen mom trash talk. Uh, and I know that what you're saying. This is 90 Day Fiance trash talk. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter because you can join and you can hear us. We answer fan questions. Trash talk is trash talk, too. It's just it's so it is what it is. We have, a, we have a bonus podcast called BS Not Team Mom Related, and we literally give you guys advice. Like, look at us. Look at how good we're doing. Yeah. 
We are doing great. We're doing great. Yeah. And like we, you said in your problems, we solve your problems. Mm -hmm. oh. We tell you about our problems. Yeah. We don't have any problems. I don't no. know what you're talking about. <laughs> you can do that. I'm just saying. Um, Angela looks like a drowned rat in an apron. <laughs> Why is she wearing an apron? Was she blow drying hair before she got there? <laughs> I didn't even notice she had on an apron. I was enamored by her breasts. Like you and Michael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was explaining how she totes everything in her bra. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was it great. It was like a Mary Poppins purse. It was amazing. <laughs> she like pulled out the umbrella. <laughs> 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 I didn't even realize that was a South. She's like, this is what we do down South. I was like, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I've, I've been down South. That's not what you do. Where have you been, Sam? My, I have a lot of family from Kentucky. My mom lives in Kentucky. There you Hold go. on. Hello. There you go. It's the best. What part of Kentucky, Sam? Paducah. I don't know what that means. That yeah. is a noise. He, that's not even a place. You just made We're a noise. In, my mother's <laughs> in Dry Ridge. Also, that's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Kentucky. Are you from Kentucky? Or they no, just I was born in New York. But Thank God. My okay. family's from Paducah, which is right next to Cadiz. That probably clears things up. I uh, I married Noah oh, for okay. the second time in Kentucky in a barn. Yeah, we got married in Kentucky. Well, that's, I mean, that's, I mean, it was barn, interesting. You could, you could assume. Yeah, yeah, I mean, wow, it was, guys, it was like, an event. I feel like you guys know each other. Like we do. There's we a have connection. Kentucky family in common. Oh my God. Yeah. I mean, I mean, this it's is amazing. Wait, hold on. Does your mother just? Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I know it's coming. Does she have an orange mullet? <laughs> I mean, no, but she's been in New York for a long time. I can't speak to what she did. No, my mother was in California with an orange mullet. Okay, no, I <laughs> no. So it turns out that it had nothing to do with Kentucky. My okay. mom is going to listen to this. Like, I just want to make this clear. She, <laughs> she wishes she was friends with Maria. Um, shout out to your mom. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> listen, you know, it is what it is. Someone's got to have the orange mullet. Whatever, it's fine. She knows what she has. She's self-aware. <laughs> So everyone sits down, and, uh, <laughs> you know, Tom is there to support Darcy. That's so nice. It's really nice. He's really good. Uh, she considers him her boyfriend. And but he, she had just said they weren't together. And he's there uh, for support. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds all too familiar to me. Seriously. Oh, gosh. Uh, Avery said that Caesar deserves better. Avery's very outspoken. It's shut up, Avery. And everyone she knows... <laughs> Remember everyone what knows Corey that, was like? Yeah, everyone knows that Muslim women should shut their <laughs> mouths. Uh, <laughs> and guess what? Maybe they weren't wrong. <laughs> like, as soon as she converted, it was like, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> Akini said something that was just really showed what a sweetie pie she is. She said that uh, basically Benjamin smelled. <laughs> that yeah. he's fat. And that he's fat. She's like, I thought he would be smaller. I love that. They were and like, then she's you like, you should do better. And she didn't even have to. He was like, yeah, I had to freshen up in the bathroom and everything. And she's like, oh, that's so funny. I didn't think he did anything. <laughs> They're like, Akini, are you saying that he smelled? She's like, yes. As a matter of fact, I am yes. saying exactly that. <laughs> He's like, I used to do better at my diet. She's like, well, then let's do better. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible, though. I, I used to do better at my diet. As if your diet is like an activity. Like <laughs> I used to be able to achieve that. Better. I used to do the, the diet better. Uh, in his defense, he did think that Akini was going to le wear less hair picks hanging from her ears. Yeah. So that's good. I mean, that's and true. I mean, you know you have dietary issues when you think you can buy a bride via Costco. <laughs> <laughs> it was buy everything else there. He's <laughs> like, I did get a case of Sunny D, so I don't know why... <laughs> They're so angry about the bride price. Uh, Jennifer calls Tim a delicate man. <laughs> She's not wrong. And then Tim says, thank you, Tim. Uh, he says, Maria was a scam from day one. Okay, shut your mouth, Tim. I love that Tim is in any position to judge anyone's relationship. Right. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca's daughter was upset. She's 21 years old. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad for her. Why? <laughs> I don't know because her mother is being like disgusting. I don't know. I okay, don't care. Be just because you I feel grew up with a disgusting Aunt mother, Noel. My <laughs> mother is listening to this. She's not going to be very Hi, happy. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> she got a um, shout out. 
We gave her the shout. She out. got a shout. Oh out. yeah, I that's feel true. like they lost the crowd a little bit. They weren't really into me. No, they like my mom. <laughs> they like my mom. I don't think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. I think I they think like me. I think they is. like my mom. We can't say anything about my mom. She's here. Hi, Fran. <laughs> uh, Jen and Tim, they uh, have not been intimate. I'm shocked. I what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you mean like intercourse? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Darcy, Darcy's like, well, that's not a problem with me. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. <laughs> she said the sex was everlasting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? He's like, how do you know you were blacked out? Didn't the dude say he threw out his Achilles or something having sex? Okay, well, <laughs> thrusting. <laughs> I'm not feeling well. Uh, ben and Bikini <laughs> are not legally married in the United States. Wow. Oh, that ceremony wasn't a global. No, this was a this was a Jim <laughs> Norton kind of ceremony. Gotcha. This was a uh, chip chip or something. Oh, you want to get married during my live podcast? <laughs> yeah, come on. Sure, whatever. <laughs> that, that's basically what they did. They got married during a live podcast. I see. Uh, Darcy uh, Caesar said that it would have been hammer time with Maria. Gross. Hell yeah. Gross. Hell yeah. Short tide, baby. Uh-huh. You know what that means. Okay, so something super funny happened. Uh, Terry looks great, by the way. Terry uh, apparently she, she looks awesome. She had trained for a marathon and she had lost a lot of weight. Um, uh. And she said they they uh, they cut to her. Um, she she said. Uh, what are you supposed to wear? A sheet? Meaning like about the Muslim. And then they cut to her entering the mosque and them draping a literal bed sheet <laughs> over her head. <laughs> Avery doesn't care that her mom was uncomfortable in the mosque. Shocking. Yeah. She's like, I don't care. I don't really care. She's I'll a bitch. <laughs> she's not great. Uh, she looked like E.T. She really did. Her mo- Terry looked like E.T. She did. She looked like she was in the basket. <laughs> the travel ban is making <laughs> Avery choose her, her actual family of 12 siblings <laughs> or her fake husband from Syria. And then Rebecca starts crying. <laughs> it's okay, sad. Rebecca. Uh, I wish Avery's brother had hosted the reunion. Oh, he was... <laughs> Avery's brother, a.k.a. the truth teller? Oh, my God. That first episode when he was like, yeah, three weeks ago she decided she's a vegetarian. Now all of a sudden she's Muslim. <laughs> I saw her coming down to the kitchen to eat meat. <laughs> what an <laughs> insightful little boy. There's uh, another boy. I know you don't watch The Other Way, but there's another kid on The Other Way. Daniel. His name is Daniel. And he is the only one. He's like, I don't know, seven years old, right? Mm-hmm. He's a great little kid. Uh, they moved to South Africa, which is very dangerous. And Daniel's like, I do not think this is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and his mother's like, shut up, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. I don't like them, but they do tell the truth. I'll tell you that. Omar said that he loves Avery just as much as Terry does. Yeah. Good one, Omar. <laughs> uh, there's a 5% chance that he'll get a visa. And he said that when he gets his master's, they're going to move to Dubai. And then they're like, all right, Omar, sure. Uh, it's getting late there, right? <laughs> Bye. Don't you have school in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> and they cut him off. Uh, he, he's got to go to school in the morning. Rebecca is mad that Jennifer thought Zayed is a freak for wearing her face on his shirt. <laughs> She's like, I don't like how Jennifer talked to me. She said that it was weird that he made a mug and a shirt. And, and a would- calendar. <laughs> right. And a blanket. Not like a freak like that, though. Like no, it, like but a it is spa- weird. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sorry. It's not translating. I meant that he was a lunatic. Is that... <laughs> He cracked her ribs open and wore her as a cape. Right. <laughs> you ever seen in Midsummer at the end where they put the guy in the bear carcass? I that just watched that. You? I just watched that. How great is it? It was so good. Incredible. It was so good. Guys, watch Midsummer. And go to Kentucky. Kentucky. And this go to Kentucky. Kentucky connection. <laughs> and get a mullet. Uh, <laughs> uh, I hear Lauren laughing like we're the funniest people in the world. 
See? That's what we need like, more of them. Come to every show. <laughs> we need more of Lauren in our life. Yeah. <sighs> Jesse wants coffee in his own green room. He's the star. He should get they, that. <laughs> that I'm watching true. for Jesse. I wish that I would have been a PI on the set and he would be like, hello, can I have coffee? I would have been like, you're not on the show. <laughs> I love, too, when he came in, he's like, no, I'm just here to talk about myself. Yeah. I'm like, bro, were you even... You're not on the show. Nobody cares. What are you going to tell all about? The stuff you already told all about? <laughs> you, t- you told you, all... You're you gonna, did it. You're going to tell... Okay. All right. I still... I want to know what's going on. I, I bet he wasn't... He probably wasn't even on the call sheet. He just shows up. <laughs> also, his vest did not fit him. That was a tiny little baby man vest. He has, a like, a baby waist. He, I mean, the Look, vest. Yeah. The guy's got a great body. You got to give him that. He does, but the vest did not fit. All right. He thinks that everyone wants to know what he's up to. Nobody cares. I want to know. Okay. Now, <laughs> is Darcy's hair like just a straight up wig now? Like what happens? It's like Eventually My Little the, Pony. Yeah, the extension just starts to kind of take over. Yeah. Yeah. Like does hair. she just grow extensions out of her head now? <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand what's going on. Um Tom says, I know you're going to be shocked, uh, Darcy's too much. No way. No. So Emma comes on the screen. Emma Emma. was mean this time. She was nasty. Poor Darcy. She was real. No, everybody triggers Darcy. Darcy's like crazy. I mean, everyone triggers Darcy, though. I feel bad for her. I feel like she gets attacked and, like, made fun of all the time. I'm just saying. (laughs) I mean... I don't know why she didn't want to I don't to even come. know why I'm here. Like, I'm defending Darcy. You why, know? Why, didn't she, why didn't she want to come? This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Emma thinks that they should spend more time together. She said that Darcy is desperate. Um, I mean, it's she, tough to argue, really. She gives, a little, uh, she gives a little test. She's like, okay, Darcy. What's his favorite color? She's like, um, well, She's um, like, um, English people. It's blue. UK. <laughs> I love foreign men. Louis Vuitton. (laughs) (laughs) Scarf. Gucci (laughs) scarf. (laughs) Pajamas. (laughs) Achilles. (laughs) By the way, who goes on a first date with an adult and says, hey, what's your favorite color? Right. (laughs) Right? It's so weird. How about I'm a grown-up? I don't have a favorite color. (laughs) It's a dumb kids thing when you're learning colors. Well, I mean, right now I just feel bad for your wife, so... (laughs) (laughs) Does she even know you? Does she? What's your wife's favorite color? What? Well, she's a grown-up. I don't know. You don't know her favorite color? Probably one of the girl colors. Pink or purple, right? Unbelievable. What's, your favorite color? what's my favorite color? It's probably either pink or purple. It's definitely not, it's not purple. That's, she that's does not Tracy's like purple. favorite. I don't do purple. We don't. We have to. We can't have the same favorite color. Sam. Of course, that'd be crazy. That's <laughs> true. Roy G. Biv. Come on, guys. Uh, I don't even know your favorite color. You like? You like some blues? I don't know. You like stupid colors. You like like. <laughs> Yellow and brown. I don't like brown. I like yellow. You're an you like asshole. asshole. <laughs> sure. Did you mean to Jesus. say that right into the microphone? No, actually. But like, you embarrass me in front of company. What's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> I like to wear black. Yeah, that's I like really to wear black all too. there it is. I do. Um, <laughs> I feel like you're getting cranky because you don't have a snack. I don't have a snack. I should have done a snack of the day. A snack of the week. We should have done a Wrong snack of the podcast. week. Wrong podcast. Yeah, that's... We do a snack of the week on the other podcast. Cause, and I just buy things from the store that I'm like, no, I was never going to eat this. And then she does. Oh. <laughs> but so. it's like, it's not good. Like, she hasn't brought me good things. I actually left... She got me these weird pop tarts from Trader Joe's. They were chocolate, hot chocolate. I Pop-Tarts. left them on Olivia's air conditioner the other morning. I'm like, I'm like, I left you breakfast outside. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you're amazing. Oh my God, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> they were from Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I see that you value my opinion. That's fine. <sighs> <laughs> we find out that. Uh, it's just so <laughs> like Tom, what's Darcy's favorite color? And he's like, nude. <laughs> and I she goes, that. white. My favorite color is white, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> white. White isn't even a color. White's not a color. It's a shade. Uh, and, then she, and then she goes, pure white. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, Darcy, uh, we get it. Jesse's here. Uh, <laughs> Emma was on point. I'm sorry. Emma was on point. We found out that Tom was engaged two times. 
Oh my god, that was my favorite moment of the whole series <laughs> when <laughs> she goes, "You're engaged two times," and he goes, "Yeah." Yeah. And she goes, "Oh, all right, she all goes, right." I just okay, <laughs> like he is so. Darcy, did you not know that? No. Did you ask? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. He's so good at just answering like these this terrible news, <laughs> but he just does it directly and like you're an idiot for even asking. It's true. <laughs> Where it's like, okay, I guess we'll move on then. <laughs> Tim the Tim likes Tom's accent. Relax, Tim. He was like, <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm not so tired. <laughs> Darcy said, uh, <laughs> I hope I don't get the same ring. It's like, <laughs> and he's and like, I haven't bought you a ring. <laughs> Sorry. Hi. Tom said that Darcy is not there for him and he can't express himself and that she was all over some other guy in the hotel lobby <laughs> and a strange man was consoling her. <laughs> no, he said that they were like canoodling and she said, Maybe he was just consoling me. <laughs> Were you crying, Darcy? <laughs> Were you crying in a hotel lobby by yourself? <laughs> it checks out. It actually yeah. checks out. <laughs> uh, Stacy looks even worse, though. Oh, poor Stacy. She has more and more filler in her face. I can't even believe it. Uh, they have on rhinestone shoes. They're dressed ri- for prom. They're <laughs> they are dressed for prom. They're going to their quinceanera. Yes. I can't believe it. I mean, I don't know anybody that watched that Family Chantel show. How they have not done a Family Darcy show is beyond. You're right. It would be so much better. There was, uh, if you guys saw it on YouTube, I think it was, there was a trailer. Darcy and Stacy were going to have a show. Yeah. They filmed their own trailer. Oh, no. For for a twin show. (laughs) Oh, this is like God. the movie The Room, except in the 90 Day <laughs> Fiance <laughs> sphere. It really literally never ends. Uh, so uh, where are we? Let's see. Stacy, uh, Tom has a tattoo sleeve. Yes, I saw. Oh, it. yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. Did you know that before? No, he didn't strike me as the type. He struck me as, as simply soft and doughy. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> he had you a thought it was just going to be a dinner roll <laughs> under his sleeve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Darcy said that she's not jealous of Stacy, and you know how you know that that's true because she said it. <laughs> <laughs> now Tom changes her his entire story up, and he said, "You know, I did have a ring at one point to propose." Then no, I met you her. didn't. <laughs> Please. Please. No, and then she just scratches her head, and then you see all the tracks of her. <laughs> Emma said that Darcy is a drunk, but. Tom's the one that's feeding her the alcohol. He's like, would you like another bottle of red? (laughs) Tom said that most days they spoke about Jesse. I'm shocked. But Jesse just trashed her online a few days ago, um, but they had been in touch. By the way, what the hell is Tim doing looking at Jesse's Twitter? I saw you on Twitter trashing her the other day. I was just looking at him because he has a good physique. (laughs) (laughs) By the way, do you have a personal trainer or <laughs> just a system yourself? Or now, Angela starts protecting Jesse back in the green room. What did you think of that? I loved it. Thank God for Angela. Wait, a, <laughs> what a hot take! Angela goes, "Nope, somebody needs to have Jesse back." She brings the party. Me. Yeah. Angela yeah. says to Avery, and this is a quote: "Sometimes you just need to hush." <laughs> <laughs> I got six grandkids. Yep. <laughs> Like, Jesse what does that said, mean? "They talk a lot, you know." <laughs> <laughs> Jesse said that he's going to come out when Tom's gone. Uh, Jesse said that the last thing he How wants. How much money would you pay to watch a reality show where Jesse and Angela were a couple? <laughs> All of the money. All, All the money. of the money. <laughs> we're gonna. Why are you making that face? That is a beautiful, amazing yeah. couple. <laughs> you me? Jesse would find a way to get Angela pregnant. <laughs> He's just that virile. They they start their own uh, their their own section of the KKK. It would yeah, be amazing. <laughs> South of the United States <laughs> slash Amsterdam babies. <laughs> Jesse said that the last thing he wants is for Darcy Dorsey to <laughs> contact him in any way. Right. right. Avery Avery is blowing her nose right into her hijab. It's a multi-purpose hijab. I'm like, that's not a terrible idea. You, you have the extra fabric. 
And then you're like, oh, I know how that grease stain got there a couple right. of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wild grease stain. Angela goes outside to smoke all of the cigarette and FaceTimes Michael. And Avery and Darcy are crying together in the hallway. Darcy's like, I know, baby. I know, baby. It's so, oh, my God, let's cry. <laughs> Angela asks if Avery needs to time to go cry. That was hilarious. That though. was really that was good. So good. One point for Angela. Angela is blaming Avery, and Rebecca was being very nice to Avery. Yeah, I think she was, like, trying to protect her. But Angela comes at Rebecca, Mm -hmm. and Angela has on her finest (laughs) (laughs) flip-flops. She approaches Rebecca. You remember the scene, right? And Rebecca's like, are you really like this, Angela? (laughs) She's like, I can't believe there is garbage that is alive like this. Uh, So she approaches (laughs) Rebecca in the scene, and I got to tell you, Caesar very slowly stands up. <laughs> and then and he then very sits slowly back sits down. down. <laughs> <laughs> the most amazing meme that was created by our fan Roger. 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 I sent that right to Sam. It was uh so what was that Andre the Giant was on one side. <laughs> yeah. And then Hulk Hogan was on the other side. And it was just a mirror image of Rebecca and Angela. That was so beautiful. What made you think of that? Like, did it just, it just brought it, yeah. I mean, it really was, was the good. immovable force, <laughs> meaning the unstoppable <laughs> object. <laughs> well, Caesar. Oh, Caesar. Angela goes, and this is a quote. I think she said it to Avery. You want war? <laughs> I'll bring it. Whoa. I know. Avery's like, actually, uh, my husband lives in Syria. <laughs> <laughs> Terry was very nice and supportive to Avery. Mm-hmm. She was like, okay, stop crying, stop crying, stop crying. Just blow your nose into your hijab. <laughs> <laughs> Tom was trying to calm Angela down, right? So Benjamin <laughs> gives his hot takes on the, the fight backstage. He's explaining it to everyone. Rebecca still has not done her roots. No, she hasn't. Okay, because mm-hmm. this is she's been in the show a little bit, and yeah. she's not dying her roots. So. No, she isn't. Okay, I mean, I just I'm nobody just here cares about that. Like, apparently, you know, I don't know. Yeah, well, I think guys, it's a big deal. You guys don't think I'm funny? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they have to move Jesse to a different floor. So this is the sound stage that they actually share with the Food Network, and they have to put Jesse into a totally different dressing room. He's got to go to Guy Fieri's dressing yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Guy Fieri's like, whoa! <laughs> um, <laughs> I shared a cookie with Guy Fieri once. Did you? I did, and I, I don't really like to share a lot of food with people because it's like, there's a lot of germs. Gross. It's yeah. disgusting. Yeah, but I and just... And then one person you decide to share germs with is Guy, Guy Fieri. Fieri. I thought... <laughs> You're a classy broad. I was like, what am I going to do? This is the most famous person I'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs> and that particular soundstage, that's where we were too. Sorry, I'm just trying to brag. It's a tough name drop, Guy Fieri. <laughs> Tom goes outside to smoke with Angela and her daughter. Now, don't get confused. This is Skyla. This is not her daughter who has been convicted of raping a child. <laughs> no, that's real. That's, that's not a real. joke. This is yeah. not. This is not re- you. Oh, what happened? You didn't Are know. You okay? <laughs> Did you? She's just very upset. Out? No, that's real. Yeah. Angela has a daughter that has raped a small boy she's doing like life in prison yeah it's wild there's a lot of yeah no that's real guys yeah this isn't good not to be all heavy this is where you gotta take the the british guy (laughs) route and you go did you do that yes i did (laughs) (laughs) oh my god guys you didn't ask if i had done it or not we have so much to cover uh so let's just go through this really really quick okay tom's trying to calm angela down benjamin explains the fight backstage rebecca's hair no bueno (laughs) <laughs> they, I got a little bit more of a laugh that time uh, <laughs> So now uh, They asked Caesar what happened mm-hmm. And he's like I love Maria <laughs> Avery spoke a bit about A past abusive relationship that she was in It's like okay Cool Avery stop Stop making this about you She's 19 years old. Relax. Benjamin said that cursing is disgusting. He's like, why did she have to be disgusting and curse like that? I mean, Benjamin, do you see what you're doing? You're on 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And Rebecca's holding Avery's hand. <laughs> she said, <laughs> and then she calls Zayed and she's like, Zayed, I have a secret. <laughs> <laughs> she said, uh, Avery, Avery, honey, I need you to think about the Quran. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> she goes, do you think that maybe you need to pray? And she's like, I do need to pray to Allah. <laughs> she's yeah. really... I need to go praise Allah right now. I'll be right back. Like, you could have just, you know, Stop. excused yourself. Really? And make a production out of it. Guys, I have to go to pray to Allah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse comes out, uh, and now Jesse is explaining... Uh, <laughs> That Angela is real. He's like, you know what? Say what you want about Angela. She's real. I'm he telling you, she's a, a wrecking ball. There's a, there's a spark there. There really is. There's so a real you see spark there. Je- <laughs> you see a naked picture of Jesse from the behind. Oh, yeah. He says that he's getting a psych degree. He's an actor. He's a life coach. And now he speaks at nursing homes. <laughs> he, so you see him. He's in front of an, an entire full room of a nursing home. And he says... Thank you all for coming. <laughs> they don't even know that they're there. <laughs> and then you cut to him and he's sitting down. And he goes, I love speaking on big stages. <laughs> cut to him back in the rec room of the nursing home. <laughs> he said that Darcy stalks him. He stalks him. He called her and threatened a lawsuit. He said that she's obsessed with him. And you know what? He's got pretty bad skin. He has terrible skin. I think he's obsessed with Darcy, though. Dorsey. Dorsey. Until he met Angela. <laughs> uh, Angela, He's too. like, I will never contact Dorsey ever again. <laughs> he said until last month, she still reached out. And you know what? To be honest with you, I have no clue who's lying. I know. There's just so much lies going on. Uh, he wants her to move on. He has a new girlfriend. And they mm. asked Jesse, they're like, is your new girlfriend... Here in the States. He's like, she's all over the place. (laughs) (laughs) We travel the world together. We just got back from vacation. (laughs) We were in Greece. Okay, so you're marrying another American woman. Right. Cool. Okay, that's (laughs) what we were asking you. Uh, Angela breaks the wall in the hallway, and then then very on brand, she burps. She burps. (laughs) Yes. Well, it was either that or say, oh, yeah. (laughs) So Angela comes out, she's explaining the fight with Avery, and then Sean goes, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> Michael said that he can't be honest with Angela because she wants to know... Because um, he's scared of her. Yeah, because he's scared That's of her. Why. And Angela goes, are you lying to me because I'm white? <laughs> and he's like, what? <laughs> I'm lying to you because I'm terrified of you. <laughs> I need to go to America. <laughs> She said that he's not allowed to have a social life until she trusts him uh, and that she doesn't have a social life. Uh, so He's yeah. like a Stepford wife. Yes, he said know? that once. Uh, Tracy would tell him, like, blink twice if you're in trouble. Yeah. You know? Look me in the soul. Look me in the soul. Are you okay? Were we redoing the handmaid's tale? Yeah. Oh, no. I yeah, yeah, I feel so sad for him. Yeah. And she said, once this is gone, the visa's gone. And he said that he'll stay home. He's going to uh, watch TV, <laughs> talk to Angela. He said that he needs to study for his visa interview. Does he know he's not getting a job at Visa? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's, they're just going to ask you questions about yourself that you already know. <laughs> Skyla said that she's not giving her egg up. She said that she is not, bottom line, not getting an egg from her. And He's like, I need to have a baby. Michael wants her egg. Because that's now it's cemented at that point. Who would want that egg in that box? Like, <laughs> Look, that's not gross. even. He's trying to get to the U.S. before the next election cycle. I know. <laughs> he needs to be here for With that. Trump. He wants to be here for Trump. Uh, they make Angela leave. They're like, okay, well, Angela actually Bye. can't be with us anymore. Because right. uh, the police have come. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Akini's on the screen, Fidel's on the screen, and they say that Fidel says that Benjamin was very average. And he's timid, he's not an alpha male. Sean like asked Benjamin to translate the Swahili that Akini is speaking. 
He's like, I don't know much Swahili. Yeah, oh, really? I did not know. Uh, Benjamin is not an alpha male. Rebecca starts talking about her ex in Morocco. Shut up, Rebecca. Stop it, Rebecca. Right. She's like, no, I totally get it. It was the same thing. Yeah, this is why. <laughs> oh, my God. She, I not accept this. <laughs> Benjamin said that Akini was drunk, and uh, she never had had a margarita before. And Benjamin had gone out drinking with the crew, and... <laughs> She thought he was just going to go eat meat. <laughs> she said, I thought you were going out for meat. Yeah. Like <laughs> Americans. <laughs> it's like, no, Akini, that's what I do. Uh, <laughs> Fidel tested him with the alcohol. He's like, I was testing him. Yeah, no, you weren't. No, you Avery, weren't. Uh, she said that she likes to get Omar's opinions on her outfits. Mm-hmm. Good girl. Mm-hmm. Fidel said that Benjamin didn't do what he told him, and now he owes him. Uh, And so they're like, well, how much does he own? Oh, and he says uh, something that he could manage. No one will give this guy a price. I know. Because he's a sucker. Like, why would you? They're just playing this game with him. Hey, how much is that? How much you got? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He's like a street vendor, this guy. Yeah. Her father brought out her school records. To prove that she, like, has a brain, basically. (laughs) Right. No, we know that she doesn't. Uh, let's move on to Tim and Jennifer. Everyone agrees that the ring was a bad idea, and she said that she wants a bigger ring. Uh, Jennifer said that he's moody and standoffish. <laughs> really? Tim loves when Jennifer calls him gay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wrong word. <laughs> oh, a pussy. Yeah, a pussy. She lo- he loves yeah. it. Tracy's not allowed to say that word today. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd be better at the fill in the blank, but thank you, Delaware. (laughs) Sean says that people questioned him about his sexuality, and he said, I've been accused of being gay. Me! (laughs) I mean, of all the ridiculous. He's like, I was born a man! (laughs) Okay, Tim. Okay. (laughs) So, uh... (laughs) (laughs) That's like the most closeted... Statement a person right. could ever make. Sometimes people How think I'm I gay. gay. I was born a man. <laughs> <laughs> I go, oh boy, I think we have to have a talk. Rebecca said that <laughs> she told Zayed about her lesbian relationship to make sure he wasn't homophobic. Totally you know what he sense. says? He goes, I, I am like, sure so much angry. <laughs> it's like, what does that mean? <laughs> his na- his uh, answer actually was, I am man Muslim. <laughs> 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 he has like this cute, like, Shoulder length bob. Yeah. Very cute. <laughs> it's wa- his hair was washed this time. He said too. she said that if his uh family found out that uh she was still married, he'd have to choose between her and her family. Mm-hmm. And Sean's like, We're on the television. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, But still. She's like, No, um, that's not true because they don't watch her speak English. So she hadn't filed for divorce. She had just signed the papers right. before she left. So that's uh so Melanie comes out. This is her private investigator partner, and she didn't do a background check, Rebecca. She did not do her roots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Rebecca, we find out, is a GM at a restaurant, and she said that Zayad will work at the restaurant and go to school. Wow. You know, remember like when your parents had a restaurant and you had to work in it? Right. <laughs> oh, my God. He doesn't know he's going to work at a chicken restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> the financial burden is going to be on her, and Melanie is not sold on Zayad, but let's talk about Maria and Caesar. Finally. Caesar thought that Maria was going to show up in Mexico. Yeah, I mean, Caesar's dumb. He had faith. <laughs> he thought that Maria was on the screen. So he's like, right, Maria? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Maria's not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone said that uh, she was taking advantage of him, and Caesar kept the ring. He says, you know, I kept the ring. I kept the edible panties. He did. I he ate him. I kept the whip. <laughs> gross. Okay. Like he didn't even need to make a list. He's like, and I had a whip too. I kept that. Like, <laughs> no, what? Are these edible panties going to expire? Because <laughs> I don't think that's safe to eat. So Maria's there, right? And he goes, how you doing, baby girl? Gross. Uh. She goes, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, she was not into this. So we talk a little bit more about Anastasia date. Um, Honestly, I'll never get over how short that tie was. They show that clip I again. Know, I Unbelievable. know. Unbelievable. So it's still 1980 in the Ukraine, and 
<laughs> Maria said that she was not seeing anyone else, and she was just joking. See, Sam? She was just joking, joking. when she said that she had met someone in Dubai. <laughs> LOL. LOL. He She's wanted to have a relationship off the site, uh, but she had an um, she had an issue with her American visa, and she couldn't come to America. And then also he couldn't come to the Ukraine because it's too cold. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I am not even like, it's so cold. How could he come here? The plane just freezes in the air. <laughs> you remember when they had the travel ban? Of course. It's they were like, no Ukrainian women can go to Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> also, Syrians can't come to America. <laughs> so uh, she, <laughs> she said that he has not sent $40,000. And I got to tell you, he was quiet during this part. Yeah, because he's full of shit. Yeah, this was yeah. the part that I started going like, wait a minute. Maria right. might be. Yeah. So like, is this just some cam girl that he met and is pretending is his girlfriend? Right. He's and yeah. making, all of us it, believe that. He made her know. out to be like the villain. Yeah. But yeah. listen, she's like, listen, he didn't send me 40K. Maybe he sent me 5K. And then he sent her 2 to 3K after Mexico. And she said that she refused it. And he goes, yeah, well, you took it. <laughs> you know what I think Caesar is? A liar. You know what I like a. Uh, Fin Dom? I don't know what that means. What does Sam? that mean? Uh, like a, a, a financial. Oh yes, okay, like a pay, like a pay, pig. like a pay pig. Yeah, of course. I want to be a pay pig. There are <laughs> men. I do. I want to be a pay pig. Yes. I was like looking on Twitter, like how did it, like how do I figure out? Well, how to you become can't a pay be pig? the pay pig. You got to find a you pay got, pig. Yeah, she wants a pay pig. If I want a pay pig. I I don't volunteer. To. Yeah, you need a pay pig. That's like. Do you guys know what a pay pig is? So it's like there are these guys who will find a lot of them are women who work in the adult entertainment industry. Right. Or comics. I, or, or comics. <laughs> yeah. I, I would that, that. That's the, well, I mean, you do know that uh, there's a few comics that are pay pigs, right? Can you tell me off? This, to this? Uh, absolutely. They talk about it constantly. No, I didn't Ooh. know that. Yeah. I oh, my God. That. But that's, they that's how I told Noelle about it, because I was explaining to her. Guys get off on sending women money, and that's it. Like, the women just That's it. They just vend They're just like, all hey, all here's the money, and they, like, get off on that. So, like, I can do that. I can do that. I think I would be good at that. I can like, take. <laughs> yeah, they just call and go like, "Hey, you piece of shit, put five hundred dollars in my bank <laughs> yeah. right now." And the guy's like, "Oh, you got it." <laughs> <laughs> and that's the relationship. She said that she loves Caesar, and he said that he wants to go to the Ukraine. And uh, she said that he made her look bad, and he starts whimpering. And she goes, "Be strong, do not cry." <laughs> 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 I gotta tell you, I can't even tell who's crazy. I kind of started thinking, like, when it's she, him. When it's Caesar him. started going. I did this so I could show the world <laughs> that I loved you and that you were a good person. That's when I was like, <laughs> Caesar is not just some nice guy that was taken advantage <laughs> of. There's something else afoot here. Uh, so, uh, Benjamin. <laughs> and I don't think I'd want him in my country either. <laughs> Benjamin cannot go back to Kenya until he has a dowry because Fidel is going to beat him up. Uh <laughs> Everyone tells him to stop sending money to Maria, Caesar, and he makes the nastiest face. <laughs> she said, she's like, you need to move on. Caesar's crying. The bride price is still an issue. Tim said that they applied for a tourist visa, and Avery is going to Lebanon in a week. Uh, and that is where we are. Uh, we have a little bit of gossip. Uh, we have some, I, ha I have those screenshots here. Within our text message, this is what me and Noel do all day. We text each other long. screenshots. We text all day. each other screenshots uh, of what actually happens on 90 Day Fiance. Like off the air? Off the air. My oh, shoulders got excited. so cold. You uh, covered them up. Yeah, yeah. You cover your shoulders. I, they got so cold. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see where we're going to start. Uh, sorry, guys. This is, uh, this is why we need a producer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is about Tom. And this is, uh, I think this is a blind item. Everything he said about his life is not how he lives. He lives with his parents. I have his address. This is from someone. Hence, always booking Airbnbs. He doesn't have a luxury lifestyle. He recently started working for a company, getting people to sign up for a pyramid scheme for, <laughs> <laughs> for coffee and cosmetics. His sister lives near them with her partner and a little girl. 
I hope it's her daughter. <laughs> <laughs> she says she's a model and an actress and has started doing cameos at $30, but she actually works for our NHS. I don't know what that means. That's like a, a UK thing. Her and her mother, Jane, backed him in all the lies that we're here about his luxury life. His dad is a nice man. He used to be or is still is a Jehovah's Witness. But his mother and sister will lie along with him to keep his fantasy alive. And that's that. Um, that's wild. Super wild. That uh, means he gave her a key to his mom's house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His mom lives in the jewelry box with him. Weird, man. So according to Frauded by TLC, Tim and Jennifer have some explaining to do. They met before the show. They didn't have a connection then either. And Tim is not rich like he portrays. So apparently the story, the backstory is, is that they met in person. They didn't like each other. But then they approached them about the show. And he was like, oh, yeah, no, we'll do the show. So they met online. And I they don't have to have sex with her, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> They met online and they met up in Mexico way before filming began. TLC had declined to hire them as cast members at the time. Jennifer wanted to party and Tim didn't. So after not getting along, Tim left early. And after a few days, uh, Jennifer stayed behind for about two weeks. TLC contacted Tim and said they wanted Tim and Jennifer to film. And they both accepted even though they weren't together and never told TLC they had broken up. TLC never knew Tim and Jennifer weren't really together the entire time they were being filmed. When Veronica gave Tim the ring to give Jennifer, it was all made up by TLC. It was Tim's ring he had from his previous relationship with the Colombian woman. The scene that had everyone's tongues wagging when Veronica was at the party in the see-through top was all scripted by TLC. They had her try on three different tops until they were happy with the black top we saw her wearing. Whoa. Man, I don't want I can't know. recall that top, but... <laughs> really? She had yeah. a see-through top on. Uh. Noelle, do you uh, watch the show? No. <laughs> so I also heard from a very good source <laughs> that Tom is actually living off of Darcy's money, and Darcy's been sending him money for a very long time. He has a child, he has a pregnant girlfriend, and mm -hmm. he has a side chick. Yeah, he's gross. Tom is also... <laughs> <laughs> he's also now living... Here in the United States with us. USA, baby! <laughs> yeah! Guys, this has been an amazing episode we of 90 Day raffle. Fiance Trash Talk. Um, we have to, oh yeah, we're going to do the raffle, but first we're going to wrap up the podcast. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being the brains of the operation. <laughs> you can follow me, your loyal host, at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow the podcast at 90 Day Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Noel, where can we find you? Noe underscore bear 810 on Instagram or at Noe Girl on Twitter. Go ahead, smirk. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine, Noe Bear. <laughs> Sam, where can we find you? At not Sam across all forms of social media. And uh, you can listen to Sam on the Jim and Sam show. Uh, is it every day? Every morning on Sirius XM Monday on channel Friday. 103 uh, starting at 7 a.m. That's too early, Sam. Yeah, it sucks. Early. <laughs> what a life. Uh, guys, thank you so much for being here. We're going to wrap up this podcast. Thank you so, so much. Uh,